Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and uh, today we're having a look at the Freightliner FLB Low Cab. Now this has had a whole heap of people like Oddfellow, Preach Bum, there's uh, Alexi P has been in here, there's a whole heap of people that have gone and uh, done this version here so hopefully it's going to be really good. So let's jump into customized configuration and check it out. So, uh, first of all, we're having a look at the cabin, and this is the standard cabin, the only cabin that you're going to get with this one. Uh, the chassis, there's two different chassis, there's the 4x2 and the 6x4. Going to do a 4x2 around the track today. Uh, the engines, now there's a nice wide range of engines here. Now, these is where Creech Bum sounds come in. Not all of them apparently are Creech Bums, but uh, some of them are. So there's the Cummins ISX-12. Cat C13, then there's a C15, um, there is the C15 with a cert, and there's the uh, 3406, and yeah, so there we go, there's three different lots of different sounds there that we're going we're gonna to see straight away. So, uh, let's look at the transmissions here, I'm going to leave it on the standard engine there because that's the one that we are going to use today. Now, the transmission... There is a few different transmissions here. You've got the, uh, uh, that's the 6406, that's 6 speed there with Retarder. 10 speed with the, there's the Eaton Fuller RTLO. Uh, RTLO there as well, another 13 speed, so there's a 10 speed, 13 speed, and an 18 speed um, RTLO. Uh, Eaton Fuller, sorry. And that also has Retarder as well. Now, uh, no choice for non Retarder. I thought this truck here, being an older truck, would have no retarder in there, but you never know. I don't, don't know. I don't actually have seen these here in Australia. There's two that I've actually seen in Brisbane, and that's it. That's uh, pretty much it, because I'm pretty much over there having a chat with them. Where if I do see it, all right. This is the interior. Have a look at the detail in here. This looks like an old truck, man. It really does. The we've seen this before with these kind of with this kind of interior. Uh, the, the, over here, just by checking here, is the steering wheel is pretty much all it changes. I'm going to go to that steering wheel there. Now, let's go off to the paint jobs. Now, this is where it's nice and interesting here. Um, there's old paint jobs. Look at the detail on this truck. I cannot get over how much detail is in on this truck to make it look old. It really, really is. Look at that. The bumper there on the front looks all scratched up and messed up. The fuel tank's got corrosion and, you know, worn off chrome. Uh, the mud flaps there are all, you know, got rust bits on them. And even the fifth wheel there has got grease on there. So, you know, it's so much detail there. It really is a lot of detail. And uh, my opinion for this is why would you want to hide that kind of detail? So let's make it sort of, let's make it look old, old and roughed up. But anyway, um, other colors, you've got the deep ocean there. Then you've got this one here, which is the FLB Overnight, which looks pretty cool. And there is FLB Posse, Posse Brothers, and Saya, I think that is. That one's actually not bad. I like that look of that one. Then there's the Sherman Brothers one, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you have a uh, Graphite. Then you have Celestial Blue, Milano Red, Polar White, Deep Basalt. Uh, there is the uh, Carrera Ar Ivory, which actually is probably a really good one that I like. Uh, Autumn Orange, Black Star, Cocoa Brown. Now we're into the Metallics, Deep Red Metallic which you have a look it looks very nice on this truck that deep red metallic a uh, sky blue metallic sunshine yellow dark scarlet poached ivory good feel orange then we have metallic color now if this one definitely works i had a look at this before and you have a look here with the black see there's one and two that are working and there you go there's the third one definitely working definitely and then you can go custom color and you can go and choose any custom color that you so would like. 
So, uh, what am I going to choose today? Well, it was very tough, but I actually didn't mind the either one of these scuffed up ones. Sorry, I thought that actually looked quite good. Uh, then we go off to the accessories here, and we're having a look at what we get. We'll start off down the bottom. Now, there's the bumpers that you can choose. Um, see there how it actually puts on the newer ones. That one there, I think, is meant to be... Uh, it says plastic chrome bumper, and there's plastic bumper, which is interesting. I did not know that they would have brought out a plastic bumper for this. I thought that's actually a bit of a rip. But anyway, um, since we're going to make this an old looking truck, let's leave that plastic on there. Now, for here, you can go and put on a whole heap of different ex uh, lights. I was hoping you could put on a mud flap, but you can't. So, never mind. Then over there, it is fog lights. You can add fog lights in there for this bull bar. Now, if you do change that, these ones you can't. Okay, so just so you know there, it takes away that dot, so you can't. Up top there is bull bar. Well, it says bull bar, but what it's actually doing is adding a whole heap of anchor points on there so you can put on lights, so you can go crazy with lights. We're not going to do that this time. It takes way too long to do. Uh, moving on up, there is the driver's plate. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's all wrecked today. Uh, this driver's plate. And there you go, there's another, there's the co-driver's plate. There is a dash cam. There is a mirror on the front there. See how there's a mirror there and you can take that off. And that is the main uh, OBC there. When we get inside, we'll have a look at that. And there's main mirrors there. There's only one selection for the main mirrors. Radio, we'll have a look on at that on the inside. And there's the sun visor, you can put a chrome one or the old one, we'll put the old one today. Now, as we're moving up here, there's the light bar. You can actually put, you can actually, you, well, you can put on horns. So you can put on the air horns there. But you can't add any more, if you were to go to that accessory slot there, you it puts on another horn. It doesn't allow you to put on another lights because I know that some people like running lights all the way along the top you can't do that unfortunately but never mind it's no big deal a beacon I'm not sure where the beacon light is I think it's on the inside I'm gonna put it on because I want to test that and then up the back here there is a roof you get the the wings there the spoiler on the side so aerodynamics and then there's the aerodynamics for the top however it removes the horns so if you want to just keep it as standard like me, you have to go back and put on the horns. Which, you've got to find it, light bar. Yes, put the light bar on. There it is, it puts the horns back on. Now, uh, over here to the pipes, you get, this is the exhaust pipes. Uh, a nice little selection of all exhaust pipes here. So there is, you know, it's just short ones there. Twins. Medium, uh, sorry, twins long, I think it is there. Twins short. Chrome pipes. Chrome short. Chrome pipes there. Chrome pipes short. Um, look, we're trying to go for a dodgy sort of old look, aren't we? So let's put those ones on there. I mean, you can put whatever you, you want on there if you get download this. Down to the tank, there is, uh, we've got used aluminum small tank used half tank there and you can see that the brackets aren't quite clipped on properly down the bottom which actually is a lot of detail in there that makes it look good um, there's a step it adds in there as well then you get aluminum tank that goes all the way along and then there is you know it's nice and polished and new still the straps are hanging loose down the bottom I noticed and there's a chrome one um, I am going to put on that one there and then it's got the step there, that's pretty cool. Then we go over to the fenders. Now we'll try and zoom into those. But it is a little bit hard, we'll spin it round, there we go. You'll be able to see that a lot better. Now there's the fenders there, used fender, plastic fender, uh, aluminum fender and chrome fender. We'll go used. Used and abused. 
Now, uh, spin it back around. Over to the wheels here. Standard tyres that you can add in here. And then it's got the standard rims as well in there. So, I am actually going to put on steel rims for this because... I kind of figured that the steel rims would be what they would, would have used. Rather than... Um, well, actually, it does look better with the shadow ones, doesn't it? Let's leave those shadow ones on there, I think. But yeah, you can choose a whole heap of different things. Your nuts, you can still the standard nuts you can put on there. The, the hub centers. Uh, and there as well for the actual caps you can put on there. Same thing for the back. Standard wheels. Well, there's the... Oh, look, there's a Freightliner Accuride. So that's probably a more... Can you get that one on here too? There we go, you can. Let's put those on. That looks much better. And leave those nuts like that. Now the centre... Sorry, guys, I, I mustn't have seen that before. So having a look at the centre. Let's remove that centre. Oh. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's removed. So there we go. We've still got the dodgy old hub there, so it looks nice and old. Man, that's that's really cool. I like how they've done that with the uh, the truck, so you can make it a real old old truck. That's cool. I like that. Now uh, that was the pipes. There we go. That I think is pretty much it for the outside, except for there. There's the mirror side mirror you can put on. Um, fenders, tanks, yeah, roof, yeah, we, we did that, pipes, yep, alright, let's have a look on the inside, now over here, right over here is the main mirrors, so not that you can change them at the moment, but you can, that is the onboard computer, that's what that is, and there's the standard plate you can put on if you want, then we have those lights, all those lights and stuff. Uh, radio. You can add the radio in there. Not sure if you can see that. It is very dark. But there's the radio. Tuned to channel 19. Sun visor you can adjust from out here. From in here. There's the mirror. The front mirror. Which you can see. Adds it there. There's a dash cam. Very important when you're driving. And a co-driver's plate. There is your work. So your work order's there. You got yourself a drink. I think that looks like whiskey, isn't it? Is that whiskey? Might be. That's what I need now to fix up my voice. Uh, there's the mirror. And right there is the main mirrors. Now, have a look at the, at the inside here. It's got a lot of detail in the back here. Very nice. Look at that. A lot of detail. Looks really, really good. You know how I love detail, guys. Alright, let's confirm that. There's our dodgy old truck. Our old beater. Let's do a trade-in. There we go. Okay, let's see how long it takes to load. Not long at all. Pfft, it was instant. It just went bang. Instantaneous. And that's, that's great. That's exactly what you want. Alright, so having a look around. Look at that. Dodgy beater. Man, that is awesome. I love it. I really do love it. That is great. Need more dodgy old beaters in this game. That's, that is great. I love it. Right. Now, let's jump on the outside and... Notice that we have the test track. Thank you very much to Drewst Black for his patience today. Uh, he helped me get this going. Now, uh, you can get it going, guys, but you can't actually drive here. You have to teleport here to get there. So at least we have the test track working. Now, uh, let's start her up, shall we? Ooh, there we go. Doesn't really sound like an old truck, but anyway. Let's check the horn. There's the standard horn. There's the air horns. Yay! Let's the lights. Have a look at the lights. There's 
There we go, there's the lights. High beams, there's high beams. And uh, wipers, wipers are working. A bit slow there, I wonder why they do that. They go really slow and then they... Oh, that adds to the effect of the old truck. Because you know how old, when the old wipers are really old, they stuff up a bit. Oh, that's interesting. There's two second speed there. And there we go, that's off. That's great. That really is great. Um, right, in uh, hazards. So we check the flashes. Come on, flashes. They wouldn't flick up. Uh, there we go on the side. And there's a back there working. Man, that is awesome. I'm loving this truck. I really am. There we go. All right. Let's back her up. Look at that. That is so nice. I'm loving this. Oh man, I think this is going to be great. Oh, I can feel it already. This is really nice to drive. Straight away. Alright, let's go and check out these other engines. All right, uh, there we go, and oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Uh, so there's the Cat C13, let's confirm that. Jump on the outside. There we go. Uh, let's go to... There's the ISX-12. I'm just going to try the C-15, but I think it's going to be the same. I can't see why it would change the sound. No. See, it is the same. There we go. That's fine. Uh, at least we got that out of the road, so we know that that's the same. Now, uh, so that's the ISX-15 will be the same. There we go. That'll be the same. There we go. Uh, down here, the 3406 is not the same sound, so we'll confirm that. It shouldn't be anyway. Let's turn that on. Now, I think that is the same sound. Go to C15 with a cert. No, it's not. Oh. Yeah, it is. It is. Bugger. It's the same sound. Oh, well. Never mind. Um, let's go down to the lowest engine. So that's what we need to do. The lowest engine around the test track. Oops. All right. Let's start her up and get her ready to go around that test track. Oh, man. I, I thought we'd lost the test track for good. I was really upset when I heard that Rick PP stopped doing uh, the test track. There's the trip computer there. Let's push I while we're here. Hopefully it doesn't crash. No, nope. oh, that works fine. Thank you. Trip computer down there. Ah, oh, come on. Get into the right damn gear. We got it in high as well. It's acting like an old truck too. Man, there was the uh, banana break just there. All right, now let's um, let's bring that up to the line there. There we go. All right, you ready for the very first run around the test track for 2017? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Come on, Freightliner. Come on, baby. 
There's the end of Bonza. Man, this picks up speed really quick. Loving it. There we go, eight low. Banana break hard on there as we go around the corner. Here we go to bull dust. Man, it's jumping over the it's jumping over the humps there. Wow, this is getting around here quick. Here we go, the titty twister. Oh, we're going through quick. Oh, yeah, it made it, no problem. Now, here comes the sand trap. Oh, over the sand trap. We actually jumped then, I think. Now, right at the very top, let's see if I can remember how to do this. All right, there we go. Okay, flat out. Come on, baby, you can do it. And we're into high, eight high. Around to the cereal bowl. Oh yeah, we go, we got the speed. Oh, not a problem, look at this. That was beautiful. All right, now we gotta slow it down here for two up. Because two up will just chuck it right over. Oh, that's great. Whoa, and here we go over the cattle grid. Whoops, started tipping a bit there because I was going a bit too quick. All right, coming around these corners here. And then we're going into sheep dip. No, lucky there's no sheep in here. Thank goodness. All right, now this is one that throws the trucks right off. And, oh, ho, 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 ho. that was, that was close. I nearly lost it there. I forgot how, how bad that was around there. Wow, but it managed to hang, I managed to hang on. Oh, wow, this is, oh, I forgot how much fun this was. I really did. Here we go, there, just through Stig's Nightmare and around down to the actual bottom end of the track here. And stop, there we go. Now the timer will be down the bottom, guys. I can't actually see it right now, but you'll be able to see it, uh, you'll be able to see it on the, on the actual recording, so. But wow, there we go, we've got the test track back and we've tested the Freightliner FLB the very first time that we've actually done it, uh, that we've gone around the test track this year for 2017. Awesome, hopefully we can keep it for a while anyway. But um, that is pretty much it for me. Overall guys, I think this truck is awesome and it is a must. If, uh, you know, if you love cab overs, then you're gonna love this truck. It just drives like a dream. It really does. And if this wins the weekly drive, we can also try the uh, 6x4 as well. But I think this is one that I'll probably drive anyway, so I think it's pretty good, this truck. But uh, look, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to our YouTube channel and check us out. We have a ton of videos there for you to watch, over 1,500. And in most of them, I am not talking like I have a horse stuck in my throat. Uh, because it's just today, I'm a bit hoarse. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks for watching, YouTubers. If you'd like to see more trucking good videos, then click on the links beside. If you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below.
thanks again for watching, YouTubers. And remember, game on.